Welcome. This is a story about when children ruled the world. Told by the great love dragon. Sit back, relax, lie down, sleep, or take a nap as I take you back, back, eons, eons, many, many moons ago. Some would say these were the times where the moon was first made. Children roamed the earth, the world with great love, peace, jubilee, and everything nice. It was always a great day, it was always a perfect night. Children lived within their hearts of hearts, and everything they loved was there in their midst. Everything was there for their hearts to smile upon. It was a lovely day, some would say, as children were playing, enjoying their day to day. Everything was awesome as always. One child looked upon another child and said, what a remarkable world we've created. See, back then, it was the children who were the master creators of everything. Everything the eye could see. Not just the eyes of the flesh, but the eyes of the heart. After realizing the wonderful beauty of a world they've created, one child asked, Who created us? Of course, since they were tapped in their first love, they knew all the answers. Nothing was hidden from them because they were as innocent as a child. It was from the great moon, one said, the great divine moon, which gave birth to everything. She gave birth to us. They smiled. And as they smiled, another world was created from their hearts of hearts. There was no sorrow. There was no pain. There was no lack. For children ruled with their hearts, not with their minds. And so the abundance of everything was upon their midst. What a wonderful world we have. What a wonderful world we have. All of creation was in awe, divine awe, and jubilee, joy, peace, astounding, because the children ruled as it was intended. One morning, one early morning, one child was bitten by the bug of curiosity, called all the children and asked, what life would we have if we decided to be grown-ups? Hmm, grown-ups? See, many children had many thoughts and many thoughts of creativity and imagination, but the thought of 
being grown-ups never seemed to cross their mind's path. What life would we have if we decided to become grown-ups? Hmm. Still, still thinking and thinking over the subject, they said, let us ask the great tree of life for the answer. And surely they walked towards the tree stumps, hugged the tree, kissed it gently, and said, we adore you, great tree of life. The tree of life smiled back at them and said, What more peace and love have you came to bestow upon me? Oh, the children said, It is not just peace, love and joy we came to bring you. We came to bring you honor. Honor, the divine tree of life asked, for what do I owe this pleasure? Hmm, the children said, if only you tell us what life would be like if we decided to become grown-ups. Surely with that answer then we shall honor you with the most marvelous glory. Ever, ever, ever. Mm. The tree of life said, This is a deep question, and it is a question only your inner hearts can answer. For if it came to you, you should be ready to bear its heaviness upon your thoughts. Enough with the riddles, great, great tree of life. Please give us the answer. The tree of life said, my sister has the answer, but you would not like to talk to my sister at this moment, for surely you understand you are perfect the way you are. I said, yes, we understand. Everything is perfect, and perfection is who we are. We just have this burning desire to fulfill this curiosity. Mm, is it one on, is it one of your games again, young children? Certainly everything is a game, is it not? <laughs> the great tree of life said, My sister has the answer. So the children tucked their chest in and walked towards the sister of the great tree of life, which was the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Mm. Great tree of knowledge of good and evil. We desire a moment with you. The tree gently, gently woke, shaking a breeze off its leaves. The children, 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 what a wonderful world you've created. To what do I owe this pleasure as you awaken me at this hour? The children said, Oh, great tree, it is just that 
Mm, it is just uh, what is it asks the tree of knowledge of good and evil we desire to know what would happen if we if we became grown ups all we know is being children oh that is an answer you really do not want to hear. What sparked this great divine curiosity? It was the breeze of the early morning, said one child. Mm. You have lived eternally from eternity to eternity and you have created a wonderful world in your hearts of hearts if you decide to be grown ups you will perish you will die hmm die what do you mean what do you mean right then the tree of knowledge of good and evil shook the wind off its leaves again and went to its sleep its gentle sleep Ooh. One child said, Now wake up, wake up. He hugged the tree and gave it a big kiss, and the tree woke again. And it said, If you really, really decide to be grown ups, you shall experience all of creation's wonders. From its joys, to its bliss, to its pains, its sufferings. And if you truly endure all of that, greater will you be than you are right now. For like a seed dies beneath the soil, it arises up and becomes a great wise tree hmm. the children were astound the children were amazed one said surely we can surely we can become even more perfect does perfection need more perfection? A great debate started amongst the children. Others said, we want to take on this glory and become grown ups. And as we endure, we shall create even a better world, a world of understanding and grasping every single intricate thing about life. For what is good to only have joy, bliss within the sunshine and not understand the slumber and sometimes the darkness of the night. For how can we see the stars if there is no night? But the debate started and some of the children were separated and said, we shall sleep upon this and tomorrow we shall come with a verdict. So surely as the wind blew, as the waters within the seas crashed upon the shores, with a quick, nice, lovely singing jubilee voice of the birds, a new day came upon the children. 
What is the verdict? What have you all decided? See the children ruled amongst a round table. Every opinion of every child was important for the children understood they were one, one within the hearts of hearts. So they asked, again, what did y'all decide? Because as they understood they were one, they still also understood they were different and it was their differences that made them even more, more lovely in love. Just like the flowers of many varieties and the birds of many, many colors. But birds nonetheless and flowers nonetheless. So, some of the children said, We shall become grown-ups. We shall grow up and endure. And by enduring, we shall have a complete balance of everything in life because we will understand and grasp everything about life from its joys to its pains and within all that understanding we shall have greater wisdom and with greater wisdom we shall have a more loving life hmm. one child said i had a dream though if we become grown-ups we can we can have a problem of forgetting who we really are we can have a problem of getting cut off from all source energy which is love eh, see the great power of the children came from love. Love was the greatest power of all these children. It was love that made these children rule with such might, power, peace for eons and eons. It was love that held everything in unity, in balance. It was love that even created the children themselves. And should they embark on this path for a greater love, they have a chance to lose their love. And if all love gets lost, all will be lost. One child rose and said, Power, power, power. How powerful are you if you cannot have the power to let power go? So the other children were given a chance to let power go in hopes of becoming greater power than they have known for all of creation's sake because everything needs to move and evolve and become a greater version of itself and this cannot happen if they stay at one point in time so yes the children said some of us will remain and we shall guide you all upon your path. And some said, yes, we shall become grown-ups and we shall make this world a greater world and make greater worlds out of it. So the children 
on the evening sat down, ate their supper, and prepared for a new world. As they were in deep slumber in their sleep, they took three deep, deep, deep breaths and hold, release, and hold. release and with a final intake of breath they held and rubbed their tummies and said as I wake I expect to be grown up for all of creation's sake Mm. And just like that, it had begun. Children became grown ups, and as they became grown ups, life shifted to what we know. Life became gloomy. Life became dark. Life got consumed with pain. Love was something from afar from most. Depression was something that roamed the breaths of many grown-ups. Simply because they were cut off from love. It was within their minds where they lived. The great story, the great tale of their minds which was told over and over again kept them from realizing their true destiny. Wars and wars came, discrimination came. People had conflicts, they fought about anything and everything. So much so that the great world was put to deep sleep. And love was far from every, every being's lips. Extinction from many animals came. Even dragons were being slayed. Disorder, harmony ceased to exist. The little children who remained children guided those who were still tapped into love. But most started being grown ups and started seeing the things of the child as gibberish. Nothing to be taken seriously upon, for life was about seriousness and thinking and no more about feeling. Many years passed, eons passed, as tears fell down from the children who remained children, looking at their brothers and sisters in pain, anguish, They said, we awake, we awake, 
our brothers and sisters now for it is time for them to endure this no more and become victorious so training one two three four five one thousand four hundred and forty four more children they were trained they were trained by the great dragons trained to come and awaken the other children towards their goal and mission they had forgotten why they were here on earth so they were trained constantly constantly night and day oh but you cannot train them for what is coming for the test on the paper is very different when you are met with it in real life but they knew this so endlessly the great dragons trained they trained the little children who were to be sent to awaken the other children towards their ah their task of course one by one the children were sent to the world but the grown-ups were so consumed by the darkness so consumed by the pain so consumed by the suffering they saw the children as a rival an enemy something to be smashed destroyed utterly destroyed but it was not so see the mission from the beginning was to unite fire and water mm. the mission was to unite pain and love darkness and light the pain was to be love the love was to be perfect Mm. so the children came into the earth one by one some knew who they are some had to wake up accordingly through the set time the mission was true reconnect the grown-ups to love and as they do they will endure all that they will face and all of creation will be restored to even greater love and greater creation mm. lovely mission simple and so the children came on this great earth one by one as grown-ups they faced pain they faced betrayals they faced sorrows things that crush the spirit of perfection but being trained for so many eons by the great dragons the children never never let go of their love the children always had love no matter how brutal it was no matter how close of a people who hurt them were the children who were now grown ups sent to awaken the grown ups never forgot love and by this slowly and surely the other grown ups became awaken to who they were love true love in the flesh love everlasting love from love love from the great hearts of hearts and they realize this is who they are so as time went on more and more grown-ups started becoming more like children again 
They endured all their pains. They endured all their suffering. And rather than coming with complaints and being ready to diminish themselves, they believed in love once more. And they became love once more. And because of this, greater love came to them. A greater love that ever existed. A greater love they never knew. A love like no other divine love that has been projected out far more brighter than the sun. The mission was won by the children and the grown-ups who still wanted to be grown-ups. They were told, listen, you can be grown-ups, you can live in your mind, but let your mind be one with your heart and you shall live a more peaceful life. For only when you lack a child can you enter the kingdom of God. See, the kingdom of God was where all joy is, was where all bliss is. It is where all joy is. It is where all bliss is. Everything you ever wanted that is lovely and true. God is love. One child spake, awakening from the clusters of being a grown up from eons. God is love. And the kingdom of God is the feeling of love. Hold on to the feeling of love for as long as you can, even in the midst of pain. And greater love will honor you. Believe in it. Do not be fooled by time. For so many say, I've been holding on to love for many, many weeks, many, many days, many, many eons. But this pain is still there. Awakening from his deep shell, another child arose from the ashes of being a grown up and said, it is not about removing the darkness. It is not about removing the pain. It is about loving in the midst of it all. And the grown-ups and the child became one. For that deep revelation shook the earth and brought an even deeper love, a love that never quite existed before. For see, you can love the sunshine and love seeing the sun rays, but how deeper are you gonna love it when you were in darkness for so long? Or vice versa. So the children restored their love. And the grown-ups restored their love. And it was understood. Grown-ups and children need to be one. For neither is greater than the other. Experiences were needed. And now it is time for us to reunite within our hearts of hearts. Boom, push, swoosh, with a flash and a huge wailing sound of the ocean screams. 
oneness was restored. Everything became back into love. And all of creation was feeling love. All that was created was love. And everything was as blissful and as peaceful as peaceful can be. One child said to the grown-ups who were now restored within their divine childrenness. How was it? How was it when you were grown-ups? For when y'all were grown-ups, we were watching y'all from afar. Every time the test came, whether you will hold love near true within your hearts, you all, you would fail. And every time you failed, you would die, come back again and had to repeat it. Sometimes you had to repeat it in another form, but repeated nonetheless. How was it? The children who were grown up said, we do not know for we forgot everything. But we always had a sense of knowing that there was a greater thing within this love. But fearing the pain of being hurt disconnected us from the love. How was it you ask again? It was as it was supposed to be. And that, my friends, is a story of when the children used to rule the world with love and imagination. Love Tandor Love
Hando. No. Tando. 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 Tando.
tons.